Hi guys, today I've got a really exciting video and I was challenged by my friend Ash to put together a sort of pack of art essentials that I would consider essential for myself and um, but as cheaply as possible. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to take that challenge entirely and I want to tell you guys all about the stuff that I found, the shops that I went to and sort of explain how I think they're essential. Um, so, the total spent, including a sketchbook, came to £17.98. For all of this, a sketchbook and a pencil case. So let me just show you those now. I got this little pencil case as well, which is really cute. And I got a really nice sketchbook as well. So I shopped at four shops and um, varying types of shops. So none of them were dedicated art stores because if you go into art stores, you might find a lot of professional products that you don't necessarily need until you're, you know, fully, you know, aware of what you like. So to test out new stuff, I always say go cheaper and then, you know, gradually build up from there. But what I've got here is what I would pick out if I, you know, if I went away for a weekend or a week and I forgot my pencil case and sketchbook, this is what I would buy to um, feel comfortable drawing. And so I have um, a few varying things. Like I said, I went to four shops. One of them was online. So I didn't use Amazon or eBay because, you know, those things um, don't always work out for everyone. But I shopped at Tiger, which is a... Uh, store um, in Europe which is kind of like Ikea without the furniture. <laughs> then I went to Ryman's and Ryman's is a stationery store, a dedicated stationery office supply store, a bit like a Staples. I went to Kenji which is a Japanese homeware store that I've just found in Preston. Looks like they have a few different stores across the UK. And the last one is I shopped online on cultpens.com and I've been shopping with cult pens Ooh, wow, from about 2008, 2009, maybe, maybe a little bit later. I was in the middle of uni when I started using their website and I love their website, Cult Pens, I love you guys. So, yes, I got together this arrangement. I haven't used any of them yet. I'm really excited because you buy a new stationery, you just want to like grab it and use it all. So I'm going to go through each item individually and then um, we'll discuss like how much they cost and why I think they're essential in my pencil case. So I'm going to start on this side and I don't actually use pencil cranes all that often but I thought because these were a whopping one pound for these they're not going to be the best quality no but you'll see what I use them for later and for a pound one pound and you get all of these. So that's pretty dang awesome. Those are from Tiger. The next three things from Tiger are these alcohol markers. And if you watched my cheap marker, three marker challenge, I use three markers from Tiger and it's the same thing. These cost two pounds and they are in shades of gray. Although that might be black, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't tried these at all, but we will see, we'll see. Next, I got a 0.5 zebra, you can just see it in the uh, metal there, a 0 0.5 mechanical pencil. This was 38 pence from cultpens.com, 38 pence. You can't go wrong with 38 pence. I avoided, I could get as many cheap wooden pencils as possible. I didn't want to do that. I wanted a mechanical pencil for as dirt cheap and 38 pence, okay. That's cheaper than a Mars bar. <laughs> and you've got yourself a nice pencil there. Next, I got a fine liner. Now the next two items are a little bit interchangeable. These two things I would use for inking, but I probably wouldn't even bother with this one. But I bought them both because people have different um, experiences with the type of pens that I would use to ink, because I prefer brush pens and fude pens. And so I went as cheap as possible and got a signed pen, which is as close to a fude pen as you'll get without it being too expensive. This was, I think, a pound. Um, if I'm wrong, there'll obviously be fancy graphics on screen and it will, you know, talk about exactly how much I spent. 
The Zig Millennium was 170 and it's uh, a 0.5, it's a regular fine liner, quite cheap and I picked this one up because you could get cheaper fine liners like for a pound and less but I wanted waterproof and archival and you know like good ink like that. Um, you don't have to go for that, it's completely up to you. Next. I got a ballpoint pen because you can't go wrong with a ballpoint pen and this was 40 pence from Cult Pens. Or this, this, this and this and the eraser and the paperclip were from Cult Pens. And this again is Zebra. 40 pence, light blue, you can get these in loads of colours. You can write notes, you can, it saves you using your inking pens to write with. And it's tiny and it goes in and I got it in light blue, it's so cute. You can get them in like pink, red, blue, orange, you know, lots of different colours. I think there's 10 colours for those. Next I got some lead refills and I got them in B for a reason because I'm going to change out the HB lead in this and put a B in and you'll see why in my uh, video when I draw on the sketchbook. They were a pound and they came from um, Cult Pens as well. Next from Kenji I got a pencil sharpener and this was 80 pence and it's yellow and I like yellow. You know how much I like yellow. That's kenji.co.uk and it's a twin barrel sharpener for these. Um, also, if you were going to go down the wooden pencil option, then that would be useful. It will keep your pencil case from being gross, so it's not like a regular sharpener that you would have to throw away, and it's pretty good for 80 pence. Next, I got a Stadler Razor Plast, and this is just a generic eraser. This costs 55 pence from Cult Pens, and it's small, it'll fit in any pencil case, and it's, it's pretty dang awesome. This paperclip was actually a uh, free gift from Cult Pens. You get like one of these and a little bag of Haribo sometimes when you order from Cult Pens. So yeah, why not throw that in? Anything you get for free, throw it in your pencil case. Another thing on my essentials list is post-it notes. And a lot of you guys ask me why I do post-it notes in my sketchbook. These are from Sainsbury's and these cost a pound. Um, the reason I bought Sainsbury's ones is because I forgot to buy them from elsewhere. Ah! And I wanted a fresh pack for um, this video because I've got so many post-it notes and now there's more. Um, but what I use them for is if I do something wrong, I slap a post-it note on it and draw over it. Um, and that is basically what they're used for. And then you can see where you went wrong and fold it back over and keep working on it until you get it right and it saves you getting frustrated with old work and it also looks pretty cool. So this total came to, uh, let me get this right, £12.98 for this. This is just over £10, so if you've already got a pencil case and a sketchbook or you're using computer paper or you, you're keeping it with a rubber band, whatever, you're just throwing it in your bag, you know, carrying it in your pocket, I don't know if you've got really big pockets, um, then you don't need a, a pencil case and a sketchbook, this is just over £10 and I would consider this essential stuff for me. I would even, some people might not use the pencil crayons or one of the fine liners or the post-it notes and you know, that's perfectly fine. Some people might use a wooden pencil. If you take any of these out and then put in what you would like, you could make it even cheaper. And what I would like to do is try this again in maybe a few months, try and get it even lower to under £10, so let me know if you'd like to see that kind of video. So, to add another £2 on, I got a really cute pencil case from Kenji, and it's just um, this little dotty one, nice fabric inside, quite clean. It's a bit thin, but you know, it's £2, so that's really sweet, and it looks attractive in your bag. It's obviously a bit feminine, I guess traditionally feminine, but they also had other designs and you can get even cheaper pencil cases. I've seen like the clear ones for like 50 pence in supermarkets if you wanted to go absolutely dirt cheap or you could, like I said, use a hair bubble or something and just bung it in. Um, any old makeup bags that someone might be throwing out, anything like that can be used as a pencil case. Technically, the most expensive thing on this list was a sketchbook and Tiger uh, delivered quite well on sketchbooks. They had quite a few. However, I was fussy about the paper and I was like, okay, this would be my essentials. I'm kind of going as cheap as possible for my essentials and I would not buy thinner paper because of the things that I would use. 
So I went with the slightly thicker one. I could have spent a pound, I could have spent two pounds, but this one was three pounds. And it is really nice and it's very thick. Like, look at all that paper. Look at it, wow. Um, 110 sheets. It's 110 potential drawings, guys. That's a th like a third of a year right there. That is a lot. If you did one a day, you'd be, you know, you'd be pretty happy with that. But like I said, I wouldn't go any thinner. I prefer to use potentially cheaper products and good paper rather than good products and crap paper because you could, you could put all of the fine tech and all of the black wings and Copics in the world on cheap paper and it will not look that great. So get yourself some nice paper and cheap products rather than expensive products and cheap paper. So I'm going to do a drawing in this and we will see how it turns out and my style of sketching and sketchbooking in general. So yeah, stay tuned guys. So yeah, I put all of the little essentials in my pencil case and it's such a cute pencil case. What I think I will do though is fill up this pencil case for my 100k giveaway and put some different essentials in. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do a few giveaways and I'm nearly at 100,000 subscribers, isn't that crazy? Crazy. Anyway, let's talk about this thing. Um, so I removed the refill out of my uh, Zebra pencil and put the B one in and if you aren't sure why I changed it to a softer lead so that I could smudge it and you'll see that in a sec. So I just used a sign pen, test that out. It's not got the line weight of a photo pen, but it's not as stiff feeling as a regular fine liner, so it's nice in between. For a pound, it's a pound. Um, I try the fine liner and the ballpoint pen, and then I try the three markers. And there's one that's like, like that third one is very dark. It's If it's a gray, it's a very dark gray. It's practically black, so it could be used for some block coloring like that, which would be really cool. So. I guess I should explain why I have these things in my pencil case. I like grayscale stuff in my pencil case. I don't like too much colour. I like to focus on tonal value rather than colour. I will do a Essentials watercolour um, pencil case thing um, when I look at like travel sized watercolour stuff. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I am using one pencil, but I've got quite a few different shades and that's because of the B lead and that gives you like dimension within one product. And that was the key with this test was to sort of get as much as I could out of very few products and very little money. So I'm smudging and that gives a little bit of 3D of 3D feel to the um, face there. You could go darker and have like a 2B or a 4B, but I feel like that would be a bit gross in a sketchbook. Um, like once it's smeared over all of the other pages. So I didn't like the pose I initially went for. I couldn't really think of anything to draw other than one of my characters. And I had the hardest time drawing her. I just, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> but you gotta draw even when you don't feel like it because you just gotta. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I draw her in her generic outfit, she's a bit curvy, so I'm, I'm trying to make her arms a bit curvier, but I kind of like them not too curvy, I don't know, character design issues. So I've shaded in some of the face, and then I'm kind of just trying to use the products. I wouldn't necessarily use all of them in one sitting, I would probably sketch with the sign pen. Um, but here I do her hair. And with things like brush pens and sign pens and fudo pens is that you've got to have a confidence of stroke. And I was losing it a little bit, so um, I had to rein myself back in with that, a bit more confidence in my lines, knowing that I, I can do this. I can do it, because my lines come across so much stronger when I do. But yeah, so um, leave comments below about your art essentials. What would you have in your pencil case? Like what can you not live without in your pencil case? And could you do it even cheaper? Could you, you know, sacrifice it for a 38 pence pencil? Could you, you know, sacrifice your favorite fine liner for a one pound sign pen? Could you do that? I add a little bit of color here with some of the pencil cranes. I didn't even take all of the pencil cranes. I, I really wanted like one or two. 
And then I slipped in a brown red bubble envelope to protect the page underneath because this isn't like super thick paper and it will go through. Even my moleskins, those are expensive and it still goes through. It's alcohol based markers, it will go through. If you put yourself a little um, thick piece of card or something, then it won't go through to the next page and you'll still be able to use the next page. Yeah, so I just used as many of the products as I could in one go. The only thing I didn't use was the pencil sharpener because I really didn't need to demonstrate how to use a pencil sharpener, I hope. But I realized I hadn't gone wrong. So I thought, well, another reason for using post-it notes is that you can see if something would look better a certain way. So I thought maybe her curls are a bit too straight edged. And so I thought mm, I can try with a post-it note and pop it over the front of the bit that I want to try differently. And I drew her curly, ringlets a bit lumpier and I didn't like them. They look like an ice cream, like a, a whipped ice cream. Anyway, <laughs> so post-it notes are super useful too. And anyway, I hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, hit the like button. I sound like a YouTuber. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.